afternoon world, Chippy Trev here. So uh, finally got the boat running right. Really happy about that. Um, weather up here beautiful. We're looking at 27 here today easily. We're looking 27 plus for the rest of the week. Uh, I'm just gonna have a couple of days off after putting so much effort into the boat. Uh, I'm gonna have a couple of days off and I'm gonna get back into my model building. And the first cab off the ranks is this crappy little AMT Chevy Chevelle model. It's a, uh, a 1969 Chevy Chevy Chevelle. Sorry, it's a, 19, it's a 1969 Chevy Chevelle. And even by the picture on the front of the box, you know this is going to be a really, really poor quality model. It's, a, it's an AMT model. And we all know how I love my AMT models. But this is a late model AMT model. As far as we can tell, it's about a 19... Sorry, it's about a 20, 2011 model kit build and the quality of these kits is just rubbish even down to the quality of the build sheet even down to the quality of the build sheet but the model itself uh, the model itself you just very like these bits here have to be removed so you've got this big open area here where the windscreen is going to have to go in and everything else just and just the feel of this model is just pure crap. Uh, a few chrome pieces to go on. Not a lot of chrome accessories there, but there's some. Two different types of wheels, typical AMT. Glass. And this is how they've boxed it, not on trees. They've just thrown all the parts in the fucking bag and uh, a lot of poor quality looking parts, a lot of poor quality resin. Multiple of tires. There's so many. Like, there's I've got more tires in there than I've got sitting in my box of bits and pieces of tire kits. There's just so many tires. Bit of red glass. Uh, it looks like an axle or two. Oh, look, steering wheel just comes in its own little bag. Some more things there. Some engine parts. That's what I'm going to get into early. Get into. Some more parts there, just basically just your engine parts. I'll get into them pretty much straight away. And a couple of extra chromey bits. Now, what I'm gonna do with this model, because I'm sort of so anal about all the models I build, and there they are, there some of them, and I pretty much stick to, oh, I've got the truck, that drag truck to go on the back of. Woohoo, thanks Dex. So all my models, um, I'm not really overly crazy. I sort of bit anal and keep them all pretty much how they should be. Well, this one's going to be different. Uh, when I when I the aim, I went over to the gem shop again the other day. Bought all my new paints. Forgot to buy fucking silver, but I bought all these brand new, really high fluorescent, funky colours, like really funky colours, and I'm actually. I'm gonna go ballistic on this model. Uh, I'm gonna paint this model. I don't know what I'm gonna color. I'm gonna paint the outside yet because I don't really like it. Um, but as far as the engine parts and all that, I'm gonna start painting the motors up really funky, far, way, way far out from uh, original paint colors. Look at that just beautiful hot purple there. I'm really so excited about this beautiful hot red. I hope that looks as good as it does when it comes out. So I'm actually gonna paint my motor. I've got some beautiful purple. Hopefully some good yellow. I find it really hard to get yellow to stick to these models. So anyway, um, I'm really going to go all out and make this a hippie car. I was thinking the other night, I was laying there in bed, and I'm thinking what I was going to do to the boat as far as um, regapping all the plugs. And I'm thinking, you know what, I've been so anal about building these models with, you know, all the proper colours. Uh, trying to get all the engine colours right with, you know, like me yellow terror heads and me orange engine blocks and blah, blah, blah. Well, this, one, this one's going all funky and trippy. So hopefully it'll work out. And if I had hippie flowers to stick all over this model here after I painted it, I'd do that too. I've got to go through my um, sticker collection. I've got a fairly good sticker collection. I've got a fairly good uh, decal collection. I might be able to go through and find some funky decals just to stick on this to make it like hippie-like. But anyway, uh, not sticking to the proper and original colours on this model. I'm just going to go all out and do something really crazy. So, rightio, Worlds. Um, catch you later on part of the build. Later. Bye. Morning, Worlds. Well, it's another day later and another beautiful day up here in paradise. So, so uh, I could have pretty much finished this model yesterday. Um, 
got some great new crackheads living down the back of me um, place there. Down the back behind me, kept me awake till four o'clock the fucking morning with their doof, doof, doof. I was about to go and uh, wheel the bike and point in their direction and let the fucking throttle rip. But uh, if it doesn't happen again, we're fine. But uh, I don't mind them having one night. They got the, they got the, anyway. I don't mind it happening one night. If it keeps going on, uh, there'll be shit going, shit will hit the fucking fan and I will do something about it. But anyway, back to the model. So, this is a crazy little model, this one. Um, I said, I, I could have, I could have had this uh, finished last night, but I wanted to wait and go through the procedure. The engine build part of this sheet was just absolutely ridiculous. And I've actually ended up with, God knows why, I've actually got two engines. Now, I remember I said I was going to go all freaky and trippy out on the uh, colours. Well, I certainly did that. I don't know how well you can see that. <clears throat> so, these are, these is, this is one of the motors, and like I said, remember I said I was going all trippy and about the colours, so that's it there. I'm not, this is, I'm not using that motor. Uh, this is the motor I'm actually using. What do you mean, them bright colours? Woohoo! They're uh, definitely not the colours an engine should be. But it took me quite a while um, to work out which engine parts belonged to which motor and which didn't, didn't fit. Uh, there's the tub. It's done. There are no decals with this model. None at all. There is just no decals whatsoever with this model. Uh, I'm not even going to waste the number plate on it. And there's the bottom part of the model. It's just nothing to it. Literally. Nothing to it. Oh, I've just knocked off one of my exhaust chromey... Yeah, I've got these chrome exhaust tips there. Well, no, I don't have some chrome exhaust tips because I've just knocked them off. So, even the little the little shock is in there. No, anyway, that's the done. That done. And uh, this is the colour the car turned out. Bloody rattle cam paint. At least I've got my glass in without any smudges. Bloody rattle cam paint. I tried to paint it purple, but the purple was no good. And then I thought I'd throw a bit of red over it to brighten it up and it just made it go khaki brown and then I tried to throw a few speckles of black around and uh, basically I've just basically I've, I've just made a total mess of this car colour so I'm not even going to put a number plate on this car there's no decals for this car so uh, this model didn't even come with any decals or anything it's a very simple model I said I could have had this together last night at about uh, midnight this could have been all put together but then I wouldn't have been able to show you everything so um, very cheap, nasty little model. Um, yeah, very cheap, nasty little model. Uh, I've got a, like three sets of tyres left over that are completely unusable. Um, I might be able to use them on something else. I've got a big box of parts there of leftover bits and pieces. Who knows what I can do with them? Uh, and there's a heap of chrome and uh, all pretty much unused chrome. I've just got the bumper bar, two bumper bars to use, and that's pretty much that. And the rest of that is pretty much unusable chrome. And I've got a box full of parts. I've got a box full of leftovers, leftover parts. Not much good for anything. Same here. Another box of pretty much leftover parts. More tyres. Uh, there. Maybe some tail lights I can get in. The bonnet's going to be completely the wrong colour, but I don't care. Uh, and even some more chrome parts, apart from the uh, bump, two bumper bars, front and back. Uh, more leftover parts. So, a lot of parts of this model um, left over, you can't use. And basically putting this model together was pretty, you know, very, very basic and very straightforward. Uh, I'll have this together in the next half an hour or so, and uh, then I'll show you the end result. So, right here, Walt, get back to you when it's finished. Later, bye. Oh, well, it's about an hour or so later, and, well, she's done. I might uh, put you down here so you hopefully get a better view. So, it's done. Uh, the bonnet's the wrong colour, I know that. Uh, the motor's in. It's not the best model in the world, but the motor's in. I do like my funky colours I've got in the trim in there. Uh, it was supposed to be this uh, fluoro, this, this fluoro colour here but it mostly just come out as liquid water. Uh, the tail lights, the tail lights didn't fit in properly. Uh, 
try to do a bit of highlight there. I'm not putting any number plates on this car. This car doesn't deserve a number plate. That's the underneath. Uh, ex the exhaust pipes don't line up, which is to be expected. Um, and there she is. Overall, this is a, what you'd call a fairly crappy model. Not even the bonnet sits right, so... Anyway, that's it. I do like the uh, slightly pink interior. I did want to go all trippy out on it, so that's it. That's it, how she's done. There she sits, right there. So, not the best model in the world. And in fact, this one's going straight into, that's it. And in fact, this one's uh, going into the shelf in the laundry. So let's take you out to the laundry shelf. Uh, there's literally almost no room left in the bus. So, uh, lucky Sandy let me put a bookshelf in the back. So these are all my other models that are either are crap or just didn't make it into the bus. Either they were too big or there was no room or whatever reason. Uh, this is Simon Allington truck. I had no room on the shelf for that truck. This, I really enjoyed that model. That was a good model to build. And uh, I certainly did enjoy that model. These are some of the early ones that were just rubbish. Some r rolled in without the right parts. I had to get parts. Um, my paintwork on some of these was just absolutely the worst. I think all the tail lights fell out of that one. There should have been tail lights in there. Uh, the bumper bar for that one. It's floating around there. That Mac was a nightmare. Uh, the log truck was the first AMT trailer I've ever built. And I've only ever built one other trailer since. Uh, that was supposed to be a 125th Honda 754 chopper. Doesn't look very 125th to me. The Monte Carlo. So that one's ended up actually, well, it'll end up here for now. But uh, that'll probably end up going down these empty shelves in the bottom. So, yeah, there we go, there's a, uh, so there we go, these are the models that uh, either don't fit in the bus or aren't worthy of being in the bus. I do like me, um, me pink uterus, I think that's a good little, that was a good little model to put together, I really enjoyed doing that one, uh, that was supposed to be my little girl's uterus, my pink uterus there, my tea bucket, which was a pain in the ass to build, but now it's all together and been sitting a while, it doesn't look too bad, so. Radio World, uh, that's where models go to die. Well, not exactly, but yeah. Um, and I've still got a whole box full of them here. The crazy, thank you, Dex, for the Monaro model. And uh, this is gonna be a big model. I almost need a shed to work in instead of working on this tiny little table. Uh, this is my whole workstation right there, and for some of the bigger models, uh, the whole floor just ends up covered in pieces and crap and shit everywhere. Um, I'd almost like a real modelling station to work at, so I can just spread out a bit more. But anyway, when you live in the bus, this is what you got. So, so the 1969 Chevy Chevelle model by AMT, manufactured or uh, put out in around 2011, total crap uh, model. Would not recommend this to anyone. And if I had to pay $50 out of a hobby shop for this model, I'd be somewhat completely pissed off. Uh, this is barely a $30 model at best. Uh, I do see them floating around on Facebook on a couple of pages. Some guys trying to sell them for $50 and $60 each. If you see them, don't buy them. And it is the late model one. You can tell by the picture on the cover exactly how poor a model this is. So anyway, world, uh, that one's done. That only took me a day. I could have had that knocked over yesterday afternoon, but um, it got dark and I can't film after dark in the bus, so... I sort of finished it off this morning, but I could have had that knocked over in a day. That's even with all the painting I did. Uh, I need to do something better about these rattle cam paints. Um, I really messed up the paint on that one, end up a dirty, yucky brown, but um, anyway, not to worry. But I did like the interior, that how it turned out, and I do love all, um, all my new paints. Bar, where is it? Um, uh, this fluoro one. It's like water, it's very watery. I've yet to try the yellow. 
and the gold's also very watery as well, which is a shame. But all the other colours were beautiful colours to work with, and they were really good quality paints, um, and I'm glad I bought them just to have a little bit more highlighting colour. And I still never bought my silver paint, so... Anyway, well, that's the 69 Chevelle on. That's actually the same year as the boat. Far out. So that's the 69 Chevelle model built. Um, wouldn't recommend it to anyone. I've got a whole box of models there to get into at some stage. Um, also, the weather's starting to pick up, although they're saying there's rain tomorrow. Uh, I do need to get back up on the bus roof and finish that. And also need to get to Bundy and fill gas bottles. And Anyway, like I said, don't recommend that model. Um, I've got a box full of models there to get into. There is an absolute pile piling up there to get into. So... Uh, Plenty of days activity there. And I do need to do something better than Rattle Cam Paint, but I haven't found anything yet. And um, the colour choice of Rattle Cam Paint is very limited here in town, and I'm not even sure where to go looking in Bundy for better uh, for a better range of paints. But anyway, right here, Worlds, that's that model done. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe, keep your knees in the breeze, and I will catch you later. Bye.